Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. A pleasure to be with you tonight. And uh, well, we're going to start. So uh, let me just check. Okay, this is the class of tonight. Okay, yesterday we should be going into the 
exercise 2.8. Uh, for tonight, we don't have homework. So remember that for this week, we need to finish the, um, for Friday, we need to finish the uh, unit two and also the midterm test. Okay, so it's very, very important that you remember and that you finish that one, okay? That is so important. Very good, so we're going to check the attendance. Let me just get there. Okay. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Uh, present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Irena Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present issue. Thank you. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, very good. So we are going to start checking about a video that we're going to check about actually the financial process and all that thing. So let's check into that one. And after that one, we are going to provide comments. Uh, opinions about the video okay so here we go yes do this okay here we go The engine of your business is your business model. In the business model you develop your strategies and your tactics for making money as a business. Here now, what we're going to talk about is how to convert those strategies and tactics into financials. First, a quick review of your business model. At the core of your business model is your value proposition, right? Your value proposition is what benefit do you offer to your target customers? There should be an economic analysis that says that customers receive a certain quantifiable benefit from your value proposition. Anita Newton talks about your value proposition and your positioning statement in her wonderful series on entrepreneurial marketing. The key to the success of any business is to have a competitive advantage over all the other products out there. That enables you to convince your customers to buy your product instead of the competitor's product. They might even be willing to pay more for your product. So understanding the economics of your competitive advantage is key to things like your pricing. The other thing you have to understand when you're thinking about your competitive advantage is, what are we gonna have to spend to keep that competitive advantage? We're gonna have to keep investing in our product, in our technology, in our people, in order to sustain that competitive advantage. What's it cost for you to make the product, to service the product, then to sell the product and support the product? So the next obvious thing is your price. Your revenues are a function of your price times the number of units that you sell. Now, when you think about other elements of your business model, you think about things like your marketing strategy and your sales strategy. And we think of those as you know, strategies and tactics, but all of them have a financial impact. How much are you spending on marketing? What is the return on your marketing dollar spent? What are you spending on sales? How much does it cost to acquire a customer? So after you pull your business model together, 
you need to translate the elements of your business model into a business model formula. Your business model formula translates your business model into financials. So for example, we sell this product or service to these target customers. The reason our customers buy our product is this compelling benefit. We have an advantage over our competition because of this sustainable competitive advantage. We will become profitable in the nth quarter of 2000 and X by selling so many systems or licenses or units or subscriptions, whatever it is you're selling, to so many customers. We're going to sell through these channels or partners, or we're going to sell directly at a price of X per system or license or customer or unit with a cost of X dollars for each customer you acquire. At that point, our revenue run rate will be X million dollars on an annualized basis. Now we've been talking about your business model and your business model formula as if it's a fixed static thing, but it isn't. The reality is these things are changing all the time. So the trick is for you to get out there in the marketplace, quantify what's really going on and bring it back and incorporate it into your business model formula. So you might think initially the cost of acquiring a customer should be this. You go out to the marketplace, it turns out it takes longer, it costs more. You've got to bring that back, build it into your business model. The point being, this is a constantly changing process. Investors want to know that you really understand more than just the strategies and tactics of your business model. They want to know that you understand how to translate those strategies into how you make money. They're going to want to know that you have a financial understanding of the implications of everything in your business model. So, for example, what is the sales cycle in your business? Are you going to be able to sell each customer in 45 days or 90 days or is it going to take a year? That has serious financial implications. Or, if you're in a consumer business, what's the conversion rate for consumers that come to your web page? or for consumers that click on an offer. So you need to know these financial metrics. That's what I mean by translating your business model into a business model formula. Okay, so what did you get from the video? Uh, what did you learn that one or something that uh, got your attention? You need to share with us. This video teacher is a, a very good one. And it is a, a practical method of uh, you can see what is your business, what is your target customer, and what is the good or what is the, the service you want to sell and for what need that the customer has. And uh, is uh, doing in a practical, and uh, it seems that in an easy way, <laughs> an easy way, at, at least to the uh, uh, state, the the main idea that you need. It is a, a very good video. Okay, very good, perfect. Yeah, definitely, I can share the link with you in the group. So. And sometimes, you know, yeah, things sounds complicated and yeah, they they need a lot of work. But sometimes it's just a matter for you to organize yourself and know what to do, right? Where you're gonna start and where you're gonna go next. So something like that. Good. Any other comments about the video? In the in the video, uh, he talked about marketing in with the uh, settings or, or uh, how you use uh, how money, how much money or or money used for 
in order to use uh, marketing. And there are, I know there are uh, many free, free services on marketing online, for example, a free page. And so if you want to create a website, you can create free for free. Um, the idea or the main, the main, main, the main idea is <clears throat> you can uh, use uh, less money or you can spend less money in order to um, use all resources in, in on increase your your service or your role um, that that you have. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So it's a very good thing because, yeah, as you say, uh, everything is focused on getting the profit, right? Profit is the key word. And then, yeah, there are things that are going to aim into that objective and everything that you need to do. So very good. Perfect. Uh, since we have the homework this incoming Friday, well, I brought you an example. I mean, this is a long example. It's a template of a business plan. Um, each is, I mean, this is kind of long. You don't have to do this that long, but um, it's, a, it's an idea, okay? So we're gonna check on that one. This is not true. Yeah, I mean, it's just a template, but it's for you to, to understand, to check what, what can you do? Actually, I can send you this link and here you are going to find lots of templates. I mean, a lot, a lot. So if you want to use any of this, uh, just remember that you don't have to go very deep. What we're going to do today is going to read about this, uh, this kind of example. Uh, as I was telling you, there are a lot of examples here. So you can take some ideas on this one and, and do it like that. Uh, this is a very long one. Uh, you can minimize things or uh, delete some parts and just leave the parts that you believe are going to be important. Okay, so uh, this is the name of the company, Double Decker Tours of Washington. So as you see, the name is about um, like tourism, right? Something that is going to be like that one. So let's pretend that we are going to uh, be presenting on this one and that we're going to understand on on the on the company and on the business plan to check how it goes, and of course we're gonna check some vocabulary and other things here. So the first thing, as you may remember, is executive summary. That is definitely the first one. So let's start with uh, Steve. Could you please read the first part? Of the company. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the company Double Decker Tours Washington LLC, it is town located in the city of Washington DC, it is a new citizen company in a, in its formative extension. It's been organized to take advantage of a specific gap in the local citizen tour market. The gap exists in high quality, reasonably priced sizing tours in the nation's capital away from the city center, indicating that a, that a new entrant tour company will be expected to capture a significant portion of the current sizing tour market. Very good, perfect. So what did you understand about the company in this paragraph? Mm -hmm. Gap, gap. This is in high quality. Mm, they give a tour, a show about uh, any places, uh, tours, and in order to know a different, different part of uh, America, okay. city center. Yeah, something like that one, right? So this company is about tours. 
Uh, it says double decorators of Washington. So we believe it's going to be in Washington. Washington. This question for you is going to be for everybody. Uh, what is LLC? Um. Limited liability company. Very good. That is limited liability company. So that means that the responsibility is limited. Limited. That is, uh, whenever you create a company, you remember that this is a very, very important thing. This means that if in the future, if in the future the company goes to bankruptcy or anything like that, I mean, you are going to be responsible only for the things from the company. I mean, within the company, the furniture, the computers, the money within the company. But if you set a company that is unlimited, I mean, and you go bankruptcy, uh, they can come, the the people that owe you money, they can come for your house and many other things. Oh my goodness, that's not good, right? So that is not good at all. Uh, and it says actually here, located in the city of Washington, D.C., which is not the same as Washington there, uh, the, uh, the state, right? Sightseeing, what is sightseeing? It's something like going through the city, going through the uh, monuments, uh, museums, uh, the interest places, and something like that. Very good. So it's something like when you say, uh, I'm going to go in and see some places. For example, when you go to Europe, uh, you go to France and Paris. I mean, you, you go and, and watch important things, monuments, landscapes. That is it. So I think when you go and look for things, ah, look how amazing is that one. Very good. And it says, it says, uh, this is something very interesting. So you see that this is the introduction. This is about the company. And it says that it's being organized to take advantage of a specific gap in the local sightseeing tour market. So it's already telling you, I mean, yeah, we are a company that we do this and we have seen that there is an opportunity. We, we want to take advantage of that opportunity. And then after that one explains what is that opportunity, the gap. It says the gap exists in high quality. So this company believes that the tours in Washington, they are not that good. Reasonable price and sightseeing tours. Okay, so maybe, yes, there are good quality tours, but very expensive. So they are going to work in two things. Uh, quality and a price that is going to be available for a lot of people. And it says in the National Capital away from the city center in the Canadian and the entrance of the company. I, I guess there is no other thing. But you can see how important it is. I mean, when you are writing a paragraph, and when you are going to present something from the very beginning, you are going to use some techniques. So you are going to present something so everybody understands what is this about. So we just read the first paragraph and we know. We know what the company wants. So this is very important in the business plan, right? That they uh, tell you what they want to do. What is this about? Good. Perfect. So the company's mission that is going to be for David. Okay. Double Decker Tours of Washington's mission is to provide safe, reliable, and fun sightseeing tours to the visitors of Washington, DC using London side double decker buses. Nine of the buses will be opened up for sunny, warm, and beautiful days, and three will be closed for cold and inclement weather. What do you get on this? Okay, maybe they are uh, pointing to customers from Europe, and they are taking the 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 form of the buses of London that are that uh, double. Uh, and uh, at the top, there are uh, uh, without top to let the people to see all of around. Uh, you can see through the window, but if you don't have an up and, and down, you can see more. 
you can see if you are in a in a high place you can see many things more than in the first floor of, of the bus and uh, there it is important they i don't know uh, how is the weather in washington but uh, i see there are many sunny days or they have more buses from from sunny day the the, the cold and inclement weather perfect so yeah it seems that that is the idea and, and it's very interesting so for first of all remember that when we present the company's mission we are going to use infinitive verbs so for example here to provide so that is very important when we are writing a paragraph that is talking about the company's mission so to provide safe reliable and fun so there are three adjectives that are going to be part of this. So that is very important. To provide safe, reliable, and fine sizing tools to the visitor of Washington. Using, so here, this is another thing that is very important. How this is going to happen? So they are going to use two kinds of buses. That is also very interesting because it, it represents that they have a strategy already, that they know, that they know about the weather, that they are ready for different situations that may come. So this is a very good thing. So they have nine buses and then three other buses. Of course, if they uh, are talking about that one, the investment is going to be kind of not that that low, right? So you have to do that one. So very good. So this paragraph tells you how everything is going to happen. So let's speak about the product and services. That is going to be for Dora. Products and service. GDD Town will provide daily sizing tours and charter service in Washington, D.C. We will survive the White House, Capitol Building, Supreme Court, Senate Office Building, House, house Office Building, Museum, Library of Congress, etc. As well as Adams Morgan, the U Street Corridor, Catholic University, and many other sites that make up the city. What did you understand on this one? Uh, in this paragraph, uh, describe uh, uh, what is the service give a, a, a customer. That is it. It's just a simple description, right? So, uh, which places we're going to go? Mm -hmm. That is it. So, it seems that there in Washington, D.C., uh, that is the capital of uh, the United States, there are a lot of nice buildings, like like the ones that we have downtown here in San Salvador, right? Very nice buildings and things like that. And people, they really like to see that one. I mean, yeah, if uh, we say to you, uh, we're going to go to the White House or like buildings only to watch, we might think oh, that's not that interesting. But yes, there are people that they really want to go and check some some places. There. So it's a very good idea. This is a, a simple one. Okay. Next one says, Teacher, Martin, go ahead. What, what, is, what is the you street corridor? <laughs> Uh, they, they are talking about White House, the Capitol building, the Supreme Court, Senate office building, house building, house office building, museums, but Jew Street Corridor. <laughs> what is Jew uh, Street Corridor? Oh, that is a very good question. Uh, let's check on to that one if you want. So let me see. Jew uh, Street. I guess it's a place, of course. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah. It's like you go to Las Vegas. La... There are a, a corridor between the buildings that is the that uh, in the night they is full of. I, I don't know. I, I went many years ago. <laughs> now this there is something better, but uh, they play a, a presentation in in the in the signing of this uh, part. Okay. Yeah, there are, I mean, every city, I mean, if we 
take a tour in San Salvador, we can find amazing places that other people would like. Uh, that happens to me, for example, I'm from Santa Ana, and when I go to a nice place that I say, oh, this is very good, I take a picture because for me it's, it's very nice. From people that they live there, I mean, it's kind of a, it's another day here, right? So I was reading about that when it says that it's, um, it's a street. Uh, is the U Street district serve as the economic, cultural, and spiritual center for African American during the height of the Jim Crow area? So it's a, a street, and the houses are kind of very fancy from that time. Uh, it's kind of good. So I believe, okay. uh, I believe that in this kind of tours, almost always they happen to to have like a tour guide, right? They are explaining. Yes. On this street happened that there was a riot or some people, they were fighting for their rights and things like that. So uh, I believe that for African-American people is kind of important part. So. Okay, thank you, teacher. Pleasure. The next one says marketing and sales strategy. So you can see that this is not that big, right? You don't have to, I mean, depending on if the company is as we say Coca-Cola, of course, probably you need to have a huge presentation because there are many things that are involved. But this is a, a tour, a tour uh, company. So the basic is important. That's the only thing that we need to do. This one is going to be for Juan Miguel. Hey, teacher. So, Marketing and sales strategy. DDTOW will develop message that touring with us, that touring with us is fun and we will project that message over the airwaves and in print. We will kick off our message using Comcast cable system in the Washington area, as well as hosting parties for certain tour association, decision makers and the media. We plan a pre-opening marketing budget of 80 grants. As we profit, we will spend about 1% of gross revenues on advertisement and marketing. We will also distribute service cards to assess what we are doing right and identify what we are doing wrong. Perfect. So what did you understand? What did you get on this one? Uh, they are talking about uh, their sales and marketing uh, strategy. So uh, they are talking about a uh, budget, yeah, 80 grants. Uh, it's a, a, a huge amount of money, yeah. Um, they are talking about also, uh, they are also talking about, sorry, uh, that how, we, how they will deliver the message, yeah. Uh, using... Uh, there is a company, I think, Comcast Cable System, or it's not a company, maybe it could be uh, a kind of, I forgot the name of Los Rotulo Grande, La Bias, I, I forgot the name. Uh, that is a broad... Billboards. Billboards. Yeah, that is yeah. or maybe a, a huge billboard uh, in the Washington area. Uh, and uh, at the end, in order to know if if they are uh, acting well or not so well, they will distribute or uh, try to to go to the clients uh, and ask for a survey uh, in order to know uh, if they are doing right or not and what are doing uh, right or not also. Okay. Yeah, actually, uh, this is a, a very short explanation about the strategies, about marketing and sales, right? So it says that we'll develop. So this is a plan. With those words, we know that they maybe are not in business yet. So they are planning to do that one. So we'll develop a message that the tooling with us is fun. So that is going to be the the strategy. Of course, this is touring a company. It has to be fun, right? You need to be uh, enjoying that one. And we will project that message over the airwaves and in print. So yeah, airwaves uh, they are going to be like uh, 
marketing strategies and print. So they are going to print some flyers or anything like that. And it says that they will uh, kick off. That means that they will start. They will um, launch yes. using Comcast cable system. So it's going to be on TV, right? Uh, Comcast is actually a company from TV. And uh, yeah, well, not only TV, but also other, other things. Uh, but the cable, you know, that is going to be about that one. So they are going to be, uh, they are going to build some announcements, some TV announcements. So everybody knows about that one. And it says they will also host some parties for certain tour association decision makers and the media. So everybody says, oh, that company is good. So they are going to, this is something that maybe here in the Salvador we don't do or companies, they don't do that much, right? To invite people and to have like an open house or uh, to present something. So come have dinner and then uh, we're going to present. That is something that is very common in the US. And it says we plan a pre-opening marketing budget. So this is pre-opening. It's not all the budget. It's just to yeah, start. but but it's a it's a it's a huge amount of money. It's a lot of money, and that is just for marketing. I mean, eighty thousand dollars just for marketing. Okay. So we're we are talking about that company is not is not a little company. Yeah. Not, not mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I mean, we might believe that it's little, but as I was telling you, I mean, if they are going to have nine buses and then other three buses, different ones, uh, only that is very, is very expensive besides the permissions and many other things, right? So they have to pay to operate. Uh, and there are many things that are in this kind of business. So definitely this is going to be... Um, a, a big investment, right? So imagine only eighty thousand dollars for marketing. That's telling you that, yeah, it's not Coca Cola, but yeah, it's a lot of money, right? And yes. it says as we profit, so that means whenever they get more profit, uh, they will spend one percent of gross revenues. So what is gross revenues? Anybody? There the revenue that or the money that you get uh, for your sales yeah very good so mm -hmm. they will be so 1% of the income is going to go to advertisement and marketing so every month they will be spending that one and they say that they will distribute survey cards to assess what they're doing right and identify what they're doing wrong that is another thing that is important because it represents a uh, strategy for improvement. That means that they have very good ideas, but they also will listen to uh, their customers. So whenever you take a tour, at the end, you can submit a survey and you will say, oh, I like this, but I didn't like this. It's better if you do this other way. And if you uh, listen, definitely, you are going to reach a lot of people, new customers, definitely. So it's very interesting. You can see that the paragraph is very short, but there are very, very important things over there. That is a very important thing. Okay, now the other one is the competition. This is not that short, but it's not that big. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roxanne. Okay. <clears throat> the competition. Or may compare your... Okay. Uh, our main competitors in Washington Science Team Market Art Software Tor Mobile. Mo Tor Mobile is based at this format part and is out and is out authorized. It's correct? Authorized. Authorized. Thank you. Authorized by the National Park Service to conduct things, think, 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 sorry, sign, thing tour along the National Mall and in Arlington National, Arlington National Cemetery. Promobile use a shuttle service employing 
uh, 85 passenger trams along the mall and 120 passenger trams in Allegan. 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 Arlington, thank you. They have been in business for over 25 years. Tromobile was started in, uh, in 1969. Scott said? 1969, yeah. 1969, okay has a subsidiary of Universal Studios to provide um to provide inter pre provide pre inter interpretive okay interpretive thank you service along the national mall in uh, 1981 Tom Tom Mark bought the company making to mobile in a locally owned, owned Washington DC company. Tourmobile has over 42 uh, vehicles, vehicles. And vehicles and server up, upwards of 2 million riders annually. I don't understand anything. I'm sorry? I don't understand anything. Really? Two. Okay, yes. go ahead. <laughs> Two. Historic Tours of America. HTA operates in Washington, has the old town trolley and DC talk. HTA is a national company with outlets across the country. HTA, HTA like Tourmobile, use a shuttle system for its passengers. And they use uh, 35 to 60 passenger tro trolley. Is correct? Trolley, trolley. yeah. Trolley, yeah. okay. Three, uh, Grain Line. Grain Line International is a global company with office and tours around the world. Grain Line contact, contacts out is its services to local bus line and runs more and runs multiple tours. Gray line runs the line the, the line Lil? Lil? the little red trolley. The Lil. Lil red, okay, thank you. Little red trolley has its service in Washington for is uh, so, so, sorry? So, Harry. So, Harry. So, Harry or so, Harry? So, Harry. So, Harry. So, Harry Church. So, Harry Church is a local company that runs 16 passengers, vans, and a 45 passenger coach buses. So, Harry, uh, Harry uh, Church are about two hours in length. Okay, what did you get? Um, in that section, uh, they describe different uh, competitors that the company has and, and give a little explanation about uh, the service that they provide to the passengers about the shuttles. So that is it. Yeah, there are four other companies that operate in Washington, D.C. As you can see the description of these companies, they are bigger than the one that we're talking about. So this is going to be like the baby, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it says Tor Mobile is based at East Potomac Park. So where it's located, uh, and it says that they conduct sightseeing tours along the National Mall and in Arlington National Cemetery. So you can see that they operate in the mall and the cemetery so the company that we are going to run uh, is not going to operate there because they already cover that area so i mean if they do that one already why are we going to do that so it doesn't make any sense and it says uses a shuttle service employing 85 passenger trams along 
the mall and 120 passenger trams in Arlington. So trams are like vehicles, like cars, uh, long cars that are linked one to another, uh, and they go with that one. So the, the good thing for them is that uh, they uh, have, I mean, 85 passengers in one tour, that is a lot. Or 120 passengers also is a lot. And it says that they have been in business for over 25 years. So they have a history. They have a reputation. They know. Everybody knows this tour, tour company. Uh, it says that starting in 1969 as a subsidiary of Universal Studios. I mean, that is important because that means that they, they can invest money at any time. So it's going to be a very big company. Uh, what else? That another person uh, bought the company and now is another kind of company there. And it says have over 42 vehicles in Mayan and sells upwards of 2 million riders annually. In Mayan, that thing. 2 million riders only with that company of those. Oh, there is a market. That represents that there is a market for this kind of company. And uh, they are big. I mean, we have nine plus three and they have 42 vehicles. Definitely, that is another thing. The next one is HTA. Not much difference. I mean, not much information about it. A trolley, Old Town Trolley says, and this is ducks. A trolley is something like, like a train, a small train. Not big, but something small that they can have lots of passengers there. And a shuttle. Shuttle means that they have uh, a system that they finish something and start once again. So, And they use 35 to 60 passenger trolleys. Uh, that is big as well. Not as big as the first one, but it's big. The third one, Gray Line, uh, is, let me see, it's a worldwide company. So that is bigger because they do this kind of business around the world. In mind, that is interesting. And also they use little red trolley. That little, this is interesting because it's like a slang. Little is like little. Little red trolley. That is a way to say that one in American way, you know. Uh, and the last one, the Haiti Tours, they have 45 passengers coach buses. And the tours are like three hours. And another one that is 15 passenger vans. So this one is probably very similar to the ones that we're going to run. Four companies that is going to be our direct competitor. And it's very good because you can see here that the company, they have research. They have information that is relevant. You need to know whenever you present this business plan, who are your competitors? And I mean, what is going to be your advantage against them? So that's why this part is important. Good. The next one is target market. Jose Osmin. Not possible. Fernando Cosme. Okay. Target market uh, in recent Washington Convention and Tourism Corporation figures, it showed that uh, 17.6 million people came to visit Washington, D.C., spending over $10 billion. $4 billion of that of sightseeing and tourism-related activities. Although overnight leisure travel increased significantly while day trip volume was down. The good news was the average trip Expended expenditures increased to levels of uh, 480 per day per trip. Many of the trips that were made to the city centered around visiting historical places and museums. Museums, uh, 36 percent, and shopping, 24 percent. In leisure travel. 36% of visitors were, were solo travelers, 
as compared to 80% of business travelers and 23% of leisure travelers. Came with children as compared to 6% of business travelers. Add no children. No, no, maybe I, I, I lost it. Ah, travelers. Also, many of visitors to the city have income of over uh, 75,000 dollars were married, had no, had no, had no children, were in the 35, 54 age group and had an advanced degree. Visits from foreign tourists fell three years ago by 19% uh, and by 14% two years ago. But over 1 million foreign tourists came to Washington, making, making it uh, eight in U.S. destination by foreign visitors. Perfect, very good. What did you understand on this? Uh, um, the target market is maybe a different, different uh, section of people that, in this case, visit uh, a convention. Uh, they may be separate, separate by the uh, age or maybe if had children or uh, maybe po social position maybe too because they mention uh, maybe the, the spend the spend that uh, every uh, uh, person that they study or or mention uh, in a in a in a specific section uh, spend uh, uh, the maybe million or dollars another can spend a uh, thousand of dollars. And that is a, a different target market that can they can reach, or in this case, uh, in instance, I I I understand that it is a an study made uh, about a, a convention. And the 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 age two, if the see see the tourists uh, were uh, alone or with a an, an, a a partner or uh, that's it. Okay, very good. So this this paragraph is very interesting because, for first of all, to get all these numbers, I mean, it's not that easy, right? Uh, you really need to research and check many things. Sometimes make some maths. Uh, sometimes it's not that easy. Maybe nowadays with all the information that is online, might be not that difficult. But anyways, to create an analysis about the target market like this is, is not that that is and it's interesting the information that it says in mind it shows that 17.6 million people came to visit washington i mean if they ask me uh would you like to go to washington for vacations i would say no right i mean why would i go but there are many things that you can see there and i mean it's a very very popular uh, let's say place for visitors to come 10 billion dollars my goodness that is a lot so mm -hmm. 4 billion of that on sizing says that is a lot of money definitely and it says overnight leisure travel is increased significantly so that means that hotels and nightclubs that increase the day tour volume has down so uh, the museums and things that one is kind of not that big uh so you can rescue a lot of information here this actually this paragraph is a very good one uh i mean uh you can compare each people each uh -huh. tourist spend at least uh, one thousand dollars each one to to do 10 billion there are four billion four billion only for sightseeing. And the main company in sightseeing have only two millions per year, two millions. There are 3,998 millions. <laughs> there is a lot of money. Let's go, let's go to Washington. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually uh, a lot of people that come from Salvador to Washington, uh, I mean, to the United States to work, 
the most of them they prefer California because there are a lot of relatives um, then New York but the third place to go and work is Washington because yeah you can see here that there is a lot of money I mean a lot of life there you can do many things I mean imagine you can go and, and work as a tour guide I mean you just need to go and say about the places and things and that one and a lot of tourists they go there because the buildings there are very very good very nice and all these numbers actually uh, imagine, imagine that you are in front of people trying to convince to get money I mean if you say something like this you are going to be shown as a very professional person of course this number has to be realistic and you need to have at hand some other numbers because some people uh, I mean they also do their homework and they are ready with some other numbers right what do you think about this or this other thing or uh, what do you say this if I found this other number that is different so we need to be ready whenever we present figures numbers we need to be ready to uh, to provide proof of where we got the information but it's very interesting I mean Imagine, for example, uh, it says that seventy-five thousand dollars that were spent were for couple married that had no children. I mean, that is good, and the ages were from thirty-five to fifty-four. So, I mean, that is a very high, a very wide range, right? I mean, any any person actually can go there, okay? And uh, foreign tourists fell three years ago by 19 percent and 14 and two years ago so it's falling the the um, foreign people but still growing for other people there very interesting the eighth uh destination in the u.s for people to visit so that means that is it's a very popular place i mean i would say that new york and maybe uh I guess New York is, is going to be the first one. Uh, New York is very popular. Everybody wants to go there in the U.S. Uh, probably there are many others. But, I mean, being the eighth is a very good thing. So this paragraph was a very interesting one. Very nice. I have a question for you in this one. I don't know if you know what is the meaning of expenditures. Maybe a combination of expedition with tours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds like a very interesting idea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else is worth saying something else. Maybe, yeah. teacher, uh -huh. maybe the, 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 the expenses that you have to do by tour, obviously in a day, yeah. Okay. Talk, talking about this this paragraph, yeah? Yeah, actually, it's something that is related with money. is how much money did you spend? That is, when you say <laughs> spend the tours, it's a fancy word for you to say, I spend this amount of money in anything, okay? In this case, it's talking about that the average trip expenditures increased to levels of 480 per day. So people are spending more money, okay, per day. So that is it. And the other one I want to ask you is leisure. What is leisure? Leisure is something like, like to uh, get fun, uh, to get the, uh, uh, I don't know, to, to enjoy. Yeah, it's like. It's like just spend time? I'm sorry? It's like a. Just spend time in different things. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, leisure activities, like I don't know, sleeping. Uh, I don't know. In your free time. In your free time, yeah, things that you do, like reading a book. You know, American people they really enjoy to go to other countries, sit down in front of the beach, and read a book. That is one of the most favorite things that they enjoy. So that is a leisure activity. Okay, very good. Nice. Let's move on. Next one is uh, management. Okay, this is going to be for, let's see, Fernando Marvin. 
Okay, teacher, management. Michael Frank Coleman will serve as member manager. He has extensive experience in the Washington sightseeing industry, working for Tourmobile and conducting walking tours around town. Mr. Coleman has a knack for recognizing opportunities and developing staff members to take advantage of those situations. Mr. Coleman will assemble a staff of experienced tour professionals to oversee operations and, mar and market our service. Uh, Paul F. Williams has over 30 years of entrepreneurial experience in the international and private sectors and private, sorry, and private sector business development and will act as the, the Tao business development manager. Um, confidential and, uh, or the, the asterisk, confidential and proprietary resume data has been omitted from this sample plan. Okay, so that is um, the information about the management. What did you get from this one, uh, Marvin? Uh, the the principal idea I, I, I understand is you need people with experience in the sector because uh, you need to establish your company and so the best the best way is uh, take that experience and take advantage of that for you and for your company very good so yeah who is going to be in charge of things so there are two main people i mean and here uh, explains about the experience that is kind of easy but also represents something very professional for the business plan. Good. The next one is operations. That is going to be for, let's see, uh, Giselle. Okay, teacher. Operations. Ticket sales and boarding of the buses will take place at the MCI Center at 6 101 F Street in North, Northwest Washington. This site gives us great foot traffic in the heart of the entertainment district, as well as ample parking and public transportation access. <clears throat> the buses will be stored and serviced by Peter Pan Bus Service in Tuxedo, Maryland thereby reducing the staff cost and ensuring top-notch services for our customers. A small office located on 3rd Street in Northwest Washington will serve as, as, as administrative offices. Okay, what did you get on this one? Okay, uh, they select like a, uh, like a place that is strategic for them to and for for the for the customers to to board the the buses because he mentioned that in the heart of the entertainment district as well as ample parking and public transportation access that I don't know that it's at this point they select this 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 place because it's the best for them and for the customers very good so that is it i mean uh this is about the uh, physical places the uh, operation how it's going to be running there are two places one is going to be where the buses are going to be it's very strategic because it has a parking that is very nice and access to public transportation so people can get into that one. And then also a small office, right, that is going to be as the administrative office. So very simple and just uh, for people to know what is going on in that part. Uh, this is an, an important one. Let's say a uh, financial. Let's see who has some red. Ana Claudia. Okay. Financial. Our research and projectors indicated the demand for. Uh, let me move the. Just give me one minute. 
I'm going to move the screen. Okay, our research and projections indicate that the demand for sightseeing tours in um in and uh, around Washington is sufficient to provide double-decker tours of Washington LLC with revenues of over $14 million in its first full year of operations, utilizing 15 use London-style double-decker tour buses and selected routes uh, throughout the city. These self figures are based on capturing 453,000 customers out of, of a potential customer's base of 22 million people. Second year revenues are expected to exceed 17 million serving over 500,000 customers with additional advertising and expanded tours. The DD Town Plan has the potential for a more rapid grow growth due in part to new memorial and other venues that are opening in Washington in the near future. In short, the demands for tours in DD Town's target market during the coming year will be more than enough to support DD Town's anticipated market share. These sales levels will produce net profits and $13 million in the first operational year and $15 million in year two. Net profits in year one will be over 60% of sales and will maintain that level in year two. The company's long-term plan is part of the due diligence package. The first few months of former year operation will burn cash, see the startup table later in this document, until revenue can commence. This is due to the organizational and regulatory obligations of a new tour operator, but the aggressive marketing and promotion will readily, readily? Readily. Okay, readily uh, make up for the slow start. Okay, what do you get on this part? They have uh, they have big plans. <laughs> they yeah. will move thousands of people. They have a complete organization. The the expectation for year two are so high. Um yeah, they they well, they are presenting the plans they have in the financial area, which is I mean the key for the whole thing because everybody wants to know if their investment is worthy or not uh, or if it will work or not because this in order for this to work i guess um it's important for the shareholders it doesn't yeah shareholder yeah uh-huh the roy the 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 investment, the return of investment known as ROI. Uh, that is what everybody's looking for. And they are so aggressive, as they say at the end. Yeah, they, have actually, clear, clear, they, they have clarity of what they want to do in the plan for two years. Mm -hmm. You are so right. So you can see here in this part, of, this is one of the most important about the financial. Uh, you can see here that I mean, they have done uh, the the thinking about that one. They have mm -hmm. made plans. They know how to start and what to do. Of course, mm -hmm. I mean, this is just the plan and it's very general. Of course, this is not true. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, they know uh, where where they want to be. So, mm -hmm. and, the... and the, but this uh, financial area teacher, what I don't know if it's good or maybe here is missing. Mm, after we been through a pandemic era, I don't know if it's important or it, or is on another uh, part of the plan. The what if if something is not going on because we saw it with the product we sell in the, in in my my job. A uh, lot of companies, a lot of people. Uh, they had their own authority. They will be starting a new year with this, this and that. But they were just two or three months in the market because they were in 
Brand Puxi, I always that word. Brand Brand Puxi, no. Bankruptcy. Go uh, again. Bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Blah, is that that word? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they it, it was so so sad because they invest in purchasing equipment. Uh, they invest in in hiring people, drivers in this case, and that could happen in a company. I don't know if it's that's part of the financial projection that you might think that there will be a possibility of fail. And I don't know if it's in this part or maybe uh, in the other one that it will be showing at least a percent. Of uh, yes, it, there should be a percentage uh, as a reservation uh, for this kind of situation. Maybe they mm -hmm. don't expect a pandemic again, but they expect something to happen to the market. So mm -hmm. for example, right now it's happening for all, a lot of companies. I mean, uh, Amazon is firing 9,000 people. Mm -hmm. um, we the are, fuel uh, prices, teacher, they are going high yeah. because of the war, of course. Yeah. So yeah, and definitely that is going to impact. I mean, if mm -hmm. pricing uh, are rising, Many people will say, oh, I was going to go to Washington, but now maybe I'm not going to go, right? Because mm -hmm. this is a uh, leisure activity. So, uh, yeah, definitely they <coughs> they have to have something like that. Something like a, a plan B, a reservation money or anything mm -hmm. like that. That is going to be mm -hmm. uh, very important in case, I mean, something bad happens, right? Exactly. Just imagine... If they uh, stop all, uh, all the city for any suddenly situation to not doing this, this and that, because the tourism area, it was one of the biggest impacted around the world yeah. uh, with the uh, airplanes, uh, airlines, uh, trains. So we don't know. I, 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 but my question is, is in this part that you may have a plan B or as you mentioned before, a reservation percentage of failure? Uh, no, uh, yeah, this is going to be just the financial. Remember that these kind of business plans are to convince people. So you mm -hmm. cannot be that negative and you don't present to this one. But in the statements, in the financial statement, there should be, there should mm -hmm. be like a, a percentage on that one. So you don't explain it. You know that it's going to be there just in case, right? But it's not going to be in, in this one because this is kind of positive, right? I mean, it's going to mm -hmm. kind of, we're going to succeed if we follow our plans and we expect not to happen anything bad. But in case that happens, yeah, it's going to, it has to be there in the financial statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, very good. Uh, of course, that depends also on the on the kind of business that we run. I mean, mm -hmm. some other parts probably, some other businesses probably is going to. Is going I to mean, be... because this is services. I mean, it's not uh, like a primary exactly. uh, need. Uh, it's is uh, for uh, just for chilling or. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. I mean, it's, as I was telling you, I mean. Uh, if the economy does not go well, that's what we do, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we stop doing things that that one, buying things that we don't need or anything mm -hmm. like that one. So that is something that is going to affect. Okay. Very good. So very interesting, this part. And the next one are long-term development and exit plan. Okay. Uh, let me see how many are those. Okay. It's going to be until ASIC plan. It's not that that long. That is going to be for, let's see, Francisco. Not possible. William Alexander. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Francisco. In long term development in excess plan, right, this one? Yeah. Okay. Goals. Authors, along with the use of double decker buses that target new routes in the city and irisit media exposure, will allow us to grow over the next five years. 
into a major player in the region. Our goal is to create a reputation of quality, fun, and safety that will make us the leader in the Washington area. Say, 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 market. say, 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 after our service starts, we will keep a close eyes on sell and profit if we are on target at the end of year two. We we will look to expand into a new market. Uh, Rick's evaluation tissue? Yeah. Okay. With any new venture, there is Rick involved. The success of our project hinges on the strength of a sentence of a new tour and buses. After G1, we expect a lot of competition in the form of the established tour operator bending together against us. And the next as well, please. Okay, teacher, access plan. Ideally, DDTOW both would like to expand into the Baltimore Richmond, Atlanta, and Miami market over the next 10 years. At that time, we will entertain the possibility of a buy off by a large size tour operator or seek to sell to a new owner. Okay, very good. So, what did you understand on these parts? Um, this is a, a this is a, a plan. Uh, I uh, think uh, is uh, is possible that use for for investor used to present the, the project or to uh, investor, right, Tishan? Yeah. Um, because the 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 plan explain the 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 benefit, the the profit, the the idea for the for the future. I understand that teacher. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. So yes, this is like uh, how you want uh, the company grows in the next year. So what are the goals? What are the milestones? Risk evaluation here. I mean, we explain that yeah, we know that there is a risk, but we don't go. Uh, much in details we know that there might be a risk but we need to just to work on that one have a plan to work on that one uh, i believe that no companies are expecting to fail but in case i mean there are certain factors that can affect your business you need to consider that one uh, so this is more like what is going to happen in the future right good the next one says found stout and utilization let me see Oh, here are the graphics. Let me see here. Oh, that would be it. Okay, here is it. This is going to be for uh, Jarvin. Is it possible for you? Not possible. Uh, William Alexander. Not possible either. Uh, Wendy Patricia. Not possible. If you want to try, I can do it. Uh, definitely. Please go ahead. Since found some uh, and utilization, right? Yes, please. Okay. The town is seeking financing of eight thousand eight hundred thousand uh, in the form of five year law. Most of the planet startup costs are appointed. To the following areas in approximately declining value. Purchasing, purchasing 12, seven, seven uh, uh, passengers, London style double decker, is uh, seen buses, 
night of which are open top of the beauty days and nights and three close top for cold for inclement water. Provision of a sufficient cash reserve to assure family payment or operating costs of the buses for the first three months. Costs associated with recruiting, training, and paying operational crews. Marketing, advice, advertising, and public relation costs, including the cost of setting up a website capable of offering for inform, information and information and making online sales and reservations and related internet marketing as well as conventional print and broadcast advertising and public relationship activities. Relation activity. Yeah. Administrative and legal costs incurred in setting up the business and the tour operation uh, reserve to cover overall operating costs aside from bus operating costs over at least the first three months of operation. Okay, what did you get into this part? Well, uh, here they explained and how how we'll be using the, the pounds and how they will uh, utilize that pounds to recover maybe the, the investment that they, they that they do. Okay, so yes, it's going to be like that one, right? So they're looking for a $100,000, that is a lot of money, but you see that the business is going to be not that small, right? They say that they will pay that in five years. That's why they say, okay. And how is going to be um, used this money? Well, here is it. I mean, the yep. twelve buses, right? Because remember that there were nine and plus over three, so twelve buses that has a capacity of seventy passengers. London style double deckers. I seen buses. I mean, those are very nice. I I wish there were buses like. That here in El Salvador. Provisions of sufficient cash reserve. So this is the one, the reservation of money, liquidity for you to spend and things that you may want to. Costs associated with recruiting, training, and paying operational crews. So at the beginning, uh, the payment of all the uh, salaries are going to be taken from this loan. Costs associated with, uh, that's the same. Marketing, advertising, and public relations costs. Of course, you need to invest in marketing, right? This is something very, very important. And some money is going to go into that one. Administrative and legal costs, including setting up the business and the tour operations. So papers, permissions, things like one, right? They are important. And a reserve to cover overall operational costs. So that is also very important. So you... Remember that at the very beginning, of course, you spend a lot of money and probably you are not going to see any profit. So um, you need to guarantee that everything is going to be working properly. And here is like a chart, okay, with some highlights about what they expect, right? So it says highlights of the business plan over the first three years. So on the first year, you can see that the sales are going they expect to be around sixteen thousand sixteen million dollars the gross margin is also around the same and the net profit is going to be around 10 million so the difference on that one is going to be the expenses on operational things then for the other year it's going to be around 18 uh, millions uh, both sales and gross margin but the net profit is going to move to $12 million. And in the year number three, it should, it should reach around $22 uh, million in both sales and gross margin. And the net profit should be go around 12, uh, I mean, $14 million. So here in the graphic, it's very easy to, to understand what they expect that to happen, okay? 
they have a plan, they have said how they are going to be doing that one. So that is a very interesting part. And that is it, the chart. It's interesting, this part now. So objectives, it says, okay. Uh, let's check, uh, okay, there are a few, but I guess we can read about that one. Marcus. Okay, objectives. Uh, double decker tour Washington will have as its primary objective the following elements. To establish and operate a new tour company aiming specifically at touring the monuments, memorials, museums, and government building of the capital city as well as touring the historic neighborhood away from the city center. To implement an org organizational and marketing strategy that will begin in the first months of operation, a shift an average low per bus of 65-85%, depending on season and increasing, therefore, to 75-100%, to thereby maximizing revenues and return on investment while reducing risk. To achieve Revenues of about 14 million by our first four years of tour operation, exceeding 20 million by our third year. Also, to expand into newer markets in the Baltimore Washington corridor, to achieve net operating profits of 50 70% within the first 12 months of the operation and steady growth, enabling rational expansion the company thereafter. To achieve the following results, starting with 12, 70 passenger London style. Double Decker was obtained through purchase to serve the term fully in Washington and incrementally expanding the fleet as demand grows. To year operation and present a professional, serious, grow oriented image from the outset that will set the stage up for a recent plan, expansion, mirroring growth rate project for the first year of operation. As elemental critical to achieving the U.S. other Key objectives to identify and develop strategy alliance through the DC Chamber of Commerce, the Great Washington Board of Trade, the Washington Convention and Tourism Corporation, and other Washington Association and Tourist Group. Very good. So, what did you understand on this one? Uh, I understand that it's like a list of objectives that the company has set. Uh, in the uh, middle term, so um, for example, they want to uh, try new markets. They want to set a goal of uh, gaining per year, per by the uh, second year, by the third year, they want to uh, spend that. Um, some amount of money and they want to have a uh, gaining uh, or specific amount of money. Um, I think this part of the business plan is important because uh, they it's like they are um, setting the, the scope of their their efforts. So if if someone is a company is not clear in that, uh, maybe the effort will not be that um direct to achieve the the, the goals because if the objectives are not clear, maybe it will be a disorder. So for a this part. Perfect, perfect. So yes, these are like the 
objectives on how to to grow right so uh, it's very important as you say because yeah you can say we're going to have uh, 22 million dollars in the next two years but how how you're going to do that one i mean we want to know how is that going to happen so definitely this is one of the most important things here key to success let's see who has some red i guess everybody has read by now let's see okay let's start all over um uh, david Okay, keys to success. In the ascending order of importance, the five critical keys to success for double decades of Washington are the first one, employing an experienced, highly professional management team that combines vision, realism, financial ability solid knowledge of the Washington tour sightseeing market, familiarity with and belief in the utilization of benefits on the latest computer informational technologies, realization of the crucial importance of an organization personal to its success, and a total commitment to the overall mission and goals of double-decker tours of Washington. The second one, I just press move on. intelligent, progressive, and aggressive marketing that identifies the company as different kind of player. One that is sharper and smarter with a higher level of professionalism and operational standard than is the norm in the Washington region. Concentration of safety with highly trained, dedicated, and professional person caring for the customer and the customer's needs in a straightforward understandable fair pricing will form key pillars of the marketing strategy the third one is identification through careful market research of unserved of underserved routes in the city that may be of interest to our customer and enable high load factors and profitable operations. The four use of a fleet of London style double decker buses does offer an unobstructed view of the city from the top deck of and offer a high level of comfort, safety, and fuel of operation efficiency. And the last one, use of information technology to reduce staffing and other operational costs, expand the potential market base really capture sales opportunities and enhance customer convenience and satisfaction. Perfect. What do you get in this one? Okay, that is the, the profile that the company needs in, in general for a driver, for a headcounts, for, for the people that was working in the double-decker company and uh, they are establishing the the values uh, like service like care about customer like uh, passionate uh, like ambition and uh, there are the uh, uh, qualities that uh, make the best experience uh, in, in in the company There's somebody that have uh, the initiative to solve the problems there are four ahead and they are seen ahead and uh, uh, they also need people that uh, was looking for opportunities to sell and to sell the service of the company. That uh, uh, also they want the people to uh, pay attention to the places, the rules that are not uh, in the tours of the other companies. There are uh, some uh, new tours that can be interesting for people and be different from the other. The, the company needs to be at the edge of the sightseeing enterprises. They are looking for, for people that understand that and work in that direction. Very good, perfect, thank you. So yes, these are like uh, the keys that they are going to be running 
So at the end, they achieved those $22 million of income in three years. I mean, it's aggressive, actually. Uh, we have seen that, yeah, there are numbers. There are tourists coming, uh, but they need to to that one. So experience, uh, being aggressive marketing, uh, research. Uh, the buses have to be in very mint condition, right? Uh, and the information that you're going to use about costs and things like that. Everything's going to be related to this one. So at the end, it's going to be successful. It's a very I, good presentation. I, huh? I, I hear uh, in movies and I've seen uh, there are something that is normal in the US that, uh, the, for example, Chicago, it is the Chicago way that is like the things we do in Chicago. And they are talking about Washington. Washington has a, 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 a normal, her proper way of to do the things. It is the Washington way. That, that is how we do the things in, 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 in Washington. And I think it's in every region there are some uh, mystic, some uh, way that they do the things. It is important. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So yeah, you are super right. So you need to adapt everything. I mean, they are saying, for example, that they want to expand to Atlanta, Miami, and some other places. Definitely, the strategy is going to be different. I mean, yeah, some things are going to be the same because it's the essence of the company. But some other things, they need to adapt themselves to the city or the state where they are going to be because the market. It's going to be different. Good. And then we have the mission. I guess it's the last one. Yes. So this is it. This is going to be for, let's see. Roxana. Mission. W Directors of Washington LLC has a mission to provide sale professional razonably rash rash rationally reasonably reasonably price time seen service to our customers we enter to fill a niche 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 huh? and uh a niche in the Washington sign scene market that is unmet. 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 Thank you. And um, met at the sign. The site in the city that are not currently so so as well has like highlight the Sites that are now to millions of visitors. We will operate and maintain the best speed of buses available, and we will never skin on safety of customer service. We will always have um, and promote fun tours so that when the customer will leave us. They will remember the good time they have and recommend us to, to a friend or relative. We will provide friendly and cold cordials, cordials? service from the time we need to the, to the time they leave. With a combination of clean buses, friendly and informative and helpful driver, helpful driver guide along with outstanding customer service. Did Tom intend to land the other's company and make our standards their ambition? Okay, what do you get from this? Uh, in general, uh, the mission uh, is try to give a good experience to the customer. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, they try to give a uh, um, a special trip to the customer. Uh, give a uh, fun time. Uh, mm, let me see. We okay. it says that they try to promote fun tours, and that's why they they try to uh, give uh, some recommendation with. Uh, friends of the customers, relatives, and the other hands, they try to uh, give a clean experience. Because you, when you try, when you recommend a place or a service, you not only uh, recommend the service, you always recommend the environment. Imagine uh, if you are in contact a uh, tour, in a bus, but uh, the buses always are dirty. It, it, that is not a good experience. So they try to give a uh, good experience in general. The mission is uh, give a clean service and give um, phone, uh, phone tours and uh, provide a uh, code guides, I guess. Mm. Um, and receive a more customer by recommendation. Okay, very good, perfect. So yeah, I mean, um, this is, I guess, very focused on the quality, right? Maintain everything fine. Um, the size of the city that are not currently shown, um, friendly and to service. I mean, that is a very important thing. So they are here providing like, the part that says at the beginning probably the only part that is not shown here is about the pricing they say that they are going to provide reasonable pricing but there is not a comparative right so probably that is something that is missing uh but yes at the end uh, that is what they want to do so uh, my friends this is like a, an example uh, you can see that we took a lot of time just to read about that one. So you don't have to present a long, a long uh, business plan. Actually, this one is missing some parts. And even though it was very large, right? So this is like an example, but you can uh, present or talk about only the most important thing. Okay, and the good thing is that here, you, I, I will send you this link to the, the chat group so you can look for other samples there. I mean, there are, this is a website that is for, with a lot of templates for business plan, depending on what you want to do, you are going to find different kinds of business plan for different kinds of companies. So you can take ideas from here, but you don't have to present the whole thing, okay? Okay, uh, speaking about this this uh, plan, what do you think about the company? Do you believe that is a company that it will be able to achieve all the plans they have? Or what do you think about this company? Uh, I I think the first thing that I think is the the company needs a better name. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know for the people of Washington, it is a, an easy or a representative name, but I think they need another. Maybe that is the the. I don't know what is in in Spanish. They say the razón social. Selectos. The name is of the market is selectos, but. The, the principal name of the company is, is something else. And uh, I, maybe they, they are not uh, working in the public name or what was the name. And then uh, I think the plan is good if they have the money and if they have the, the profiles for people and, and they are in a in a city where there are money for that, and they are looking for a new, new situations or new places, new tours, 
I, I think it, it will be a, a success that they, they can do it. Okay. Very good, very good. So yeah, it's kind of aggressive, but it's kind of good. I mean, if the market exists, why not? Why why are not going to move into that um, thing? Any other opinion or question about that one? Hey, what do you think about the company now that you have seen the plan? Imagine that you are the investors. Would you invest in this company? Would you say Mind that you work for the bank, would you say, yes, take the $800,000 and make your business? What do you think? Mm -hmm. well, I, I see that uh, we have a, a short vision. We don't know, by, uh, unless me, but I don't know the order. Uh, I think we have a limited version of what is a side sign enterprises in USA. Maybe our, uh, our good ones are in, in, in El Salvador. We, the majority of us, prefer to go for, for ourselves. Uh, I go by myself, I go to the Maybe there is a, a tour, there is a tour guy, and it, it, is, it is cheap, it's $5, $10, and there is a guy, but uh, the majority of us prefer uh, go along, but go for, for the herself or, or himself, and not to pay for a, for a tour, because you are going uh, maybe uh, walking, and uh, we, we don't, in, here in, in El Salvador, I think, I don't know, I think that we don't have the vision to invest in the, to pay for, for something like that. But uh, in that uh, series, I think uh, there are something that uh, we see in the movies. Uh, there are many people with groups in the White House, in the museums and in the historic places. I see this, it's good. And uh, I don't know if I give them $100, but <laughs> oh, 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 five, what, $100,000. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, I think it's a good idea. Okay, very good. So uh, you will say, yes, I will give the money and let's see what's going on, right? So, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, $800,000 is a lot of money. So probably that is where we need to think about that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds like a good plan. Uh, what about the other people? What do you think? Would you give the money to the company? Uh, maybe when uh, the company starts uh, operation, they could uh, include another service. Uh, I remember uh, when I was visiting Mexico, I got some tours in a bus and they not only uh, have the, the guide and the tour service, they also include another uh, experience. They uh, provide um, beverage or um, recuerdos, how do you say? Uh, souvenirs. Souvenirs, yeah. Uh, and I think that it's another uh, way to to improve your your company in that case because you know when you are visiting um, public uh, and interesting places in another country, the prices always is a little complex because they the, the things are expensive. And they maybe they they could include another um, service or product like that, and give another good experience to the customer. Okay, yeah, very good. I mean, the experience should be different, right? It's not just the tour and things like that. I believe that probably they would provide a beverage or something like that. But to do something different, to go the extra mile, definitely something that is going to 
attract more tours and if, if you have more clients, of course, you're going to have more money, right? So that is... Or imagine uh, if maybe if they could include another uh, personal souvenirs that maybe in a specific, uh, if they uh, are planning a specific tour to a specific uh, interesting place, they could create a personal souvenirs the customer is another good experience. I received uh, something like that in my previous uh, travel, and it was amazing for me because uh, for me the, the view was the, the top, and that that is enough. But that specific um, souvenir was a uh, different because it is it's not. Something that you have in your mind, extra. Maybe you can pay for, for it or, or not. It, it depends. But uh, that that is another way for me. Yeah, I mean, things like that one engage people, right? Uh, you know that the best, the best uh, marketing strategy is when a customer recommends you, right? So if you leave the experience, definitely it's going to be something that is going to I'll give you more success and uh, yeah for example one strategy is uh, to tell them it's for free right but of course you know that it's included in the price right so everybody pays for that one so but if you say to somebody oh no this is a gift that i want to give you uh, i mean you you make people feel like oh my goodness they gave me this and that is a very good thing right so they didn't expect that to happen so so if the experience is, is something like that definitely yeah, that would be a very good idea. But in, in the other hand, imagine if you if you get a tour and you forget buy your uh, souvenirs, they could provide some uh, options. Yeah. So yeah, some definitely. years uh -huh. ago, many years ago, I went to the uh, Amsterdam Stadium and uh, there was a tour uh, through the stadium. The, that, that the stadium can uh, close the, the, the siding in about 30 minutes. It was uh, raining, something like that, and many things. And you can go all, all of the stadium, and the tour was uh, 30 euros. 30 euros, and they, get, they say you, you can you receive a free picture with all because the the all of the Netherlands team was training, and mm -hmm. for free <laughs> you get a picture with all of the. <laughs> at, at that time it was not uh, cellular. They, they they take a picture. It was for free, but uh, you had to pay thirty euros for for the tour in the stadium. And uh, obviously uh, the price was included, but. It was a, a good a good hook, okay? A, a free picture with all of the national team of, of, of Netherlands. I, it was interesting. It was the time of Marco Bombasten, Ruth Gurlik, Frank Ricard, many, many years ago, when the Netherlands was the the, the second in the championship, I, I, I remember. Yeah, I mind that experience. I mean, it's something that you remember uh, and uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, when they say, uh, they, maybe maybe you know that you're going to pay for that one, but the, the experience, the good thing about it is the surprise, right, that they tell you, uh, you know what, you can go and take a picture with the players right now because, <laughs> I mean, it's for free, and you say, oh, my goodness. So that is something that uh, causes you a very good impression, right? So you say, oh, I can do this one. That When you buy the, the, the tour, you didn't know. I mean, you say, oh, I'm going to go and meet the, the stadium and check what's going on but when they tell you something like that you say oh I saw well I'm thinking that you have a picture you have a picture with Marco Van Basten and all those guys yeah. imagine that is amazing very good yeah that was a very good team one of the best of Netherlands yes. yeah it was one of the best okay very good uh, another question for you uh, you know more or less what are the parts of the business plan. So, is there something missing? Uh, there, do you believe that there is something missing there in this 
a business plan that we checked today is something that they should add into this? They, they are only giving the big numbers, the big numbers and not the detailed number like uh, that the statement of uh, profits and loss and something like that. And uh, there are something that uh, the flow, flow, cash flow that uh, is not there, but for in general information is a good information. If they go to a bank, the bank maybe needs more specific information about the cash. But uh, I think and there is a good maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, something like uh, pictures about the bulls or something like that. But, but, but I think when they are uh, giving more details that they include something like that. Okay, yeah, you are right. I mean, uh, that is something that they could include, right? They could go and include the, the buses that they are going to, to be using with, I mean, some experiences. Yeah, that might be good. And definitely some projected statements, even when this is a startup company, uh, only the graphic on what you expect might be not good. So you need to present something else. So I, I totally agree on that one. They need to present something else. Any other opinion? I mean, any other thing that you believe that is missing into this one? I didn't see complete teacher, the, the plans, but I don't know if in one uh, a part, uh, they explain that the fact that they sell the, the, the tours, for example, within the wage page or with other companies, I don't know if the plan has that, that part. Uh, there was a part where it mentioned that they were going to create a website so you can check into that. But that is the only thing. Probably you are right. I mean, they need a little bit more, right? Uh, they say that at the beginning, they were going to do some advertisement and also some cable, some cable advertisement on TV. So if they continue doing that one and they have a very good website, probably it's going to work well. Good. I have a question. Uh, in, huh? in our case, uh, can we present something like that or we need to create a cash flow and budget? Uh, no, I mean, actually I, I will send you the link of this one. Uh, this. The website has a lot of templates and you can look for something there so you can just download one or present something like that. You don't need to present the whole thing. A graphic or a presentation or something like a statement, uh, I mean, losses and profit things are important, but that depends on the company. Another thing that you can do, remember that this is just an English practice, is that if you, for example, if, if I were to present the one that we show right now that we just read, but imagine that I present that one, I will I will explain. I will say, uh, you know, uh, um, we don't have a loss and profit statement because we are working on that one right now or because uh, since we know how it's going to be the curve of the uh, incoming, we know that the 50%, I don't know, to, to provide an explanation is good. So if you don't, if you believe that something is missing, you can just explain. Uh, you don't have to create something. Uh, these templates, they have a lot, or you can look for your own templates or examples of a business plan uh, and just present part of it, the most important part. That will be it. Okay. Uh, what else do you believe was missing here? Everything else? Maybe for me, you know, in the mission, in the mission, they say that they were going, I mean, to the mission was to provide fun and other two adjectives about tours, but they say with very good quality, and also a reasonable pricing. So probably one thing that I could include here, because it's part of the mission, uh, is a table of pricing. I mean, the other, the competency, they provide this pricing for this 
30 minutes of tour or one minute, or, I mean, one hour of tour. And I will provide quality good tours with this pricing. So I believe that is a very important part. If I were an investor, I will ask that one. Okay, you say that you were going to uh, to provide reasonable pricing, but I don't see any pricing there. What is the pricing of the other four companies? What are the prices that you are going to provide? I mean, you are talking about $22 million in three years, but what are the prices for that one? So that is a very important part. I believe that that is something that is in this business plan is necessary. Of course, this is just a template, right? So, uh, but anyways, it's something that I might think is, is very important. Okay. The good thing is that now you have an idea what is the business plan. Uh, I send the link and you will see there that there are a lot of, I mean, I sent like the front page and you can click on different industries so you can read and check on that one. That is going to make easier for you to present something this incoming Friday. And uh, um, of course, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, do you have any questions by now? No, teacher. Sure. Okay, so uh, before we go and check the attendance, remember that this week we need to finish the unit two, uh, all the homeworks and also the midterm test. That is okay. very important. For Friday, this Friday, we need to finish that one, okay? That is a very important part. Okay, let's check the attendance because it's time to go to bed. So, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canayan. Present teacher. Good. Oxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Teacher, teacher. Oh, sorry. Hello? Yeah, tell me, tell me. I, I need some help with the with the platform. Okay, which exercise do you need help with? In the exercise 2.11. Ah, okay, which number? Uh, the last one. Ah, okay, we checked that yesterday, yes. There is an error in the paragraph. It says certified public accountant, but since uh -huh. that is a, that is a, um, an institution, it shouldn't have to have Accountant, but account. So the word is account with capital letter. Account. Okay, let me see. Oh yeah, that's correct. And I one, I have one missing in two point fourteen. Two fourteen. Two point fourteen. Oh. Ah, the last one. Okay, let me check into that one right now. Hold on, second. So the last one. Ah, okay. So this is my friend Lisa is reading a book. Ah, okay. I have I have a, a buena. Okay. Ah, you got corrected. Okay, very I well. I have correct. I have correct. I I missed the the period. 
Ah, uh, yeah, sometimes that happens. <laughs> in that kind of exercise, if you don't have the, the period there uh, or there is a space, yeah, it's not taking it. But the good thing is that you have it right now. Yeah, I have correct, teacher. Okay, that's it. all correct. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. Same to you. Okay, same. Bye-bye.